Ye in southern Sudan was once a prosperous city located on the main road that carried all traffic and commerce through the region. In June 2005, the U.S. Agency for International Development signed a cooperative agreement with NRECA International Limited to build an electric distribution system that would provide reliable and affordable electricity to Ye and included street lighting to help bring public safety to the village. The NRECA International Foundation partnered with U.S. member co-ops to provide volunteers to help with the construction and training of the local crew. We've got to show what electricity brings to the people. Start with street lights, then start, you know, connecting people. Then we got that first light on. That first light was the beginning. They can now see the possibility of having power in their tukul. They can now see the possibility of that wood shop down the road having some electricity and being able to employ more people. They can see the economic possibilities of electricity. I'm so proud of doing all this, what I'm doing right now. So what did it mean to be reconstructing the Southern Sudan or the Sudan as a whole after the war? I'm proud of it because I'm a Sudanese American who have come from America, coming back to Southern Sudan to build the Southern Sudan. Part of the challenge was interesting. It was like, it was actually getting back and we were able to build an electric system from the ground up. We had everything to do. We had to do the generation, the transmission, create the infrastructure for the utility. We also then had to create a way to manage it. We had to select a board of directors, educate them. It is a really big challenge, but also it's really gratifying. It's great. They're so, so thankful, so genuinely thankful that we're, we're actually moving forward and helping them uh, and assisting them. We're using them to do this job. We're not just coming in here turnkey and bringing a whole bunch of, of American linemen in here to do the job. We have them here, and they're the ones that are doing the work, and they're the ones that are going to be able to do the work in the future. The satisfaction is like being able to walk around in the evening and see people walking around with the street lights on. These people are taking the benefits of the power we give. Medicine is now preserved in the drugstores. Carpentry shops producing a much better quality uh, product. All due to the fact that we brought electricity here. I saw that they had a real desire to succeed. They want the community to grow. They want the community to prosper. But they also know the difficulties that they're facing in the future. And as we transition out to making it a, from an NRECA international program to a locally owned and operated program, they know they have some real challenges ahead of them. The electrification project here in EA is being in recent times one of the most important projects we've done. For me, it's been a joy uh, to see how uh, our staff, along with the support of the membership, the volunteers, you know, the money, the equipment, seeing the sort of, you know, the, the difference we're making in the lives of people. This is so beautiful. Yeah, it's gonna change a lot. It is a good opportunity for us women to have the electricity in our homes so that it can help us in many things which we need. Actually, the power has changed our lives. You can move say, securely on the roads because you have lights. There are 17,500 people that are directly benefiting from the reliable supply of electricity to Ye. Electricity has improved the quality of health care, education, and other basic services while reducing violent crime and providing an opportunity for small businesses to grow and expand. Together, NRECA International Programs, with the help and support of the U.S. cooperatives and their volunteers, are helping electrify the world, one village at a time.